Hello friends, welcome to Fairs Cloud Learn to Lead. Good morning to all the students. Today we will discuss the topic wise current affairs of the October month 2022 and today topic of discussion is defense. This topic is very important for every type of exam. So watch this video carefully and watch till last. But first of all, you have to download our application Careers Cloud from the Google Play Store. After that, log in with your email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But the most important thing, what we are covering under this one year and the two year subscription, we are providing you daily section. In the daily section, you will receive three things. One is the detailed current fair. Second is the question and answer format of current fairs, but both will be provided in the form of PDF or in the form of ebook. And third is the quiz section and this can be attempted only on our application on daily basis. Next is the weekly section. Again, we are providing three things. One is the detail current fair. Second is the question and answer format. But both things will be provided in the PDF format. And third is the quiz section, which you can attempt on our application on weekly basis. Next is the monthly section and in the monthly section we are providing you four type of PDFs. One is the detailed current fair PDF which is known as study PDF. Next all the detailed current fairs will be converted in the form of question and answer. That's why it is known as question and answer PDF so that you can revise all the current fairs in the question and answer format. Next is the best 100 current fairs will be provided that is also provided in the form of question and answer and last is the pocket PDF. It means one liner, two liner or the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current fairs very quickly before your exam. Next is topic wise current fair. This is very important section because we are providing 20 most important topic wise PDF. If you want to revise one or two particular topics, then you can use this topic wise PDF. If you are a banking student, then we are providing three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format of current fairs, but only related to banking and economy. And third is the quiz section. It is also only related to banking and economy. And you can attempt this quiz section only on our application on monthly basis. Next is exam PDF. If you want to cover all the current fairs before your exam of particular year, then you can use this exam PDF. Next is special current fair section. In the special current fair, we are providing you budget and economic survey. Two things we are providing. One is detail budget and economic survey. Second is question and answer format of budget and economic survey. It means you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economic survey. If you are preparing for your respective state exam, then we are also providing state current fairs and we are covering every state and union territory. So all these things comes under only one subscription. First of all, you have to just download our application careers cloud, then click on this crack current fair section and you can subscribe for one year as well as for two years. And if you want 10% extra discount, then you can use this code ASH10. If you have any query, then you can email us on this email ID or you can call us on this number. So let's start the October topic wise current fair and today topic of discussion is defense. This topic is very important for every type of exam and here is the first question. Union Minister of Defense Rajna Singh Ji praised the work of seven new defense public undertakings to mark the completion of one years of operation on 30th of September 2022. And these seven new defense public sector undertakings have projected cumulative sales target of around dash for the financial year 23 or for the year of 2022-23. And Union Minister Rajna Singh Ji under the Ministry of Defence specially appraised the work of the seven new defence public sector undertakings. And it is to mark the completion of one year of operation at a meeting which was held in New Delhi on 30th of September. And the seven new defence public sector undertakings which were formed from the erstwhile Ordinance, Ordinance Factory Board. Remember, Ordinance Factory Board have projected cumulative sale targets of around 17,000 crore for the financial year 2022-23. So answer of this question is 4. And the companies began operation on 1st of October 2021 and were dedicated to the country on the occasion of the Vijaya Dashmi on 15th of October 2021 by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. So just remember total 17,000 crore sale target fixed for the seven defense public sector undertakings. Moving to next question. Indian Air Force recently retired the number 51 SWAT arms MiG-21 fighter squadron stopped its flying operation from 30th of June 2022. The number 51 SWAT arms MiG-21 fighter squadron is based in Dash area and this area is Srinagar, Jammu and Kashmir. Answer of this question is 4. So currently Indian Air Force has three MiG-21 Bison squadrons which shall retire in the next three years. 
and the crest of this squadron depicts the motto Vijay Prakarma, which means valor for victory. And the squadron was tested in 1987 operations brass tacks when it carried out intensive valley flying and manned operation readiness platforms from both Shirinagar and Avantipur over a three month period. So just remember Indian Air Force retired the number 51 SWAT Arms MiG-21 fighter squadron based in Shirinagar, Jammu and Kashmir which had stopped its flying operation on 30th of June 2022 and has been replaced by MiG-29 MiG-29 squadron for air defense system. Moving to next question. Name the country's navy that recently signed an agreement on the wide shipping information exchange with the Indian Navy. And this navy belongs to New Zealand. So answer of this question is Royal New Zealand Navy. So answer of this question is 4. And the pact was signed between the Indian Navy Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar and the Chief of the Royal New Zealand Navy during the Chief Admiral R. Hari Kumar visit to the New Zealand. And our Chief R. Hari Kumar complimented the Royal Navy of the New Zealand leadership for their active participation in the Milan exercise, Milan 2022, which is multilateral naval exercise. So remember Indian Navy and the Royal New Zealand Navy signed an agreement on the wide shipping information exchange to promote greater transparency in the maritime sector. Moving to next question. In which city the Defence Research and Development Organization tested unmanned remote controlled weaponized boats in the month of October 2022 and this area is Pune in Maharashtra so answer of this question is second and these boats were developed by DRDO in collaboration with the Sagar Defense, Sagar Defense Engineering which is a defense production startup and the boats are used for the surveillance purposes, patrolling, reconnaissance of the overall maritime security with an endurance of about 4 hours and this boat is also mounted with a weapon system in case of any insurgency. So DRDO tested three remotely unmanned weaponized boats at Bama Akshad Dam in Pune, Maharashtra and these were tested with no man on the vessel. No man on the vessel. Moving to next question. Name the armored vehicles that was recently inducted by the Indian Army's Northern Command in Jammu and Kashmir. And this is Kalyani M4. Answer of this question is 3. So Indian Army's Northern Command inducted Kalyani M4, an indigenous all-terrain high mobility combat troop carrier with armor and mine protection, mine protection in Jammu and Kashmir. And the carrier was manufactured by Kalyani Group Bharat Forge Limited, an indigenous initiative. And it is designed predominantly as an extension and occupant protection vehicle. And the vehicle can withstand with 310 kg, 310 kg. TNT charges under the wheels and 150 kg IED, 150 kg IED blast at its one side. And what is the meaning of TNT? TNT stands for tri nitro toluene and uh, IED stands for improvised explosive device. Moving to next question. In October 2022, Saab announced plans to set up a production facility in India for the Carl Gustav M4 rocket launcher under the Make in India initiative. Which country defense company is Saab? So Saab is a defense company of Sweden. Answer of this question is second. So Saab which is a Sweden defense company announced plan to set up a production facility in India for the Carl Gustav M4 shoulder fired weapon system India's Make in India initiative. And this M4 is one of the world's most popular pieces of military equipment utilized primarily by the special forces. And this Carl Gustav M4 shoulder fired weapon system can fire anti-armor and illuminating round as well as the various other types of ammunition with the maximum range being 1500 meter. 1500 meter. And the production at the new facility is expected to begin in the year of 2014 even though the firm is yet to reveal the location. Moving to next question. For which organization the Ministry of Defense approved the creation of a new branch called the Weapon System Branch in October 2022? And this is for Indian Air Force. Answer of this question is 3. So the Ministry of Defense has approved the creation of a new branch called the Weapon System Branch which is a historic move of the Indian Air Force which is an honor of the 90th anniversary of the Indian Air Force which was celebrated on 8th of October 2022. And this is the first time since India's independence 
that a new operational branch has been established and the establishment of this weapon branch or the weapon system branch would imply the consolidation of all weapon system operators into a single entity committed to the operational use of all ground based and specialized airborne weapon system and four specialized streams inducted in the branch like surface to surface missile surface to air missile remotely piloted aircraft and weapon system operators in the twin or the multi crew aircraft just remember a new branch is now created known as the weapon system branch for in the air force or the indian air force moving to next question name the offshore security exercise that was conducted by eastern naval command at andhra pradesh in october 2022 and name of this exercise is prasthan so answer of this question is 3 So Pakistan which is an offshore exercise was conducted in the Krishna Godavari basin offshore development area under the aegis of headquarters of Eastern Naval Command on 11th of October and 12th of October 2022 and the exercise was conducted in the offshore defense area of Kakinada Kakinada in the Andhra Pradesh area so it aims to integrate the efforts of all the maritime stakeholders involved in the offshore defense and the exercise is conducted every 6 months and it is an important element of ensuring offshore security so name of this exercise is prasthan next question is name the indian naval ship that was recently participated in the 7th edition of ibsa mar or ips summer a joint multinational maritime exercise and this is ins tarkash so answer of this question is 1 so indian naval ship tarkash reached port port elizabeth in south africa participated in the 7th edition of the ips summer or ips summer 7th a joint multinational maritime exercise that was held from 10th of october to 12th of october 2022 and the exercise ips summer was initiated in the year of 2008 and it is conducted between india brazil and south african navies that's why it is known as india brazil south africa maritime exercise just remember and the indian navy was represented by the teg class guided missile frigate ins tarkash a chetak helicopter and a maritime commando force special forces which is known as marcos marcos moving to next question with which country the indian navy has recently conducted the second edition of tri services which is known as hadr exercise humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise tiger triumph 2022 at visakhapatnam andhra pradesh and this country is united states of america and remember the keyword this is tiger triumph 2022 so this is the second edition of india united state tri service humanitarian assistance and disaster relief exercise tiger triumph and it was held in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh between indian navy and us navy and it was held in the line with the growing strategic cooperation between the two countries like india and usa and the first tiger triumph exercise was held in the year of 2019 in visakhapatnam and it is the first tri service exercise in between us and the india next question is in october 2022 the directorate general of civil aviation granted the aerodrome license to the mopa airport and this airport is situated in goa answer of this question is 4 so this is dgca who granted the aerodrome license to the mopa airport in the goa to commence the flight operation and goa is the first indian city state to have two airports that will soon see regular commercial flights next question is the indian navy is conducting the dash edition of the singapore india maritime bilateral exercise or simbex exercise in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh from 26th of october to 30th of october and this is the 29th edition so answer of this question is 3 29th edition and remember this exercise was held in visakhapatnam andhra pradesh and for this exercise two ships from the republic of singapore navy arrived at visakhapatnam and simbex 2022 is being held in two phases one is the harbor phase harbor phase which was held in visakhapatnam and the second phase is sea phase which was held in bay of bengal and the simbex series of exercise began in 1994 under the name of exercise lion king lion king so remember indian navy hosted 
29th edition of the Singapore India Maritime Bilateral Exercise. This is a joint naval combat exercise and it was held in Vishakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Next question is with which country the Indian Air Force has recently conducted the 7th Garuda 7 2022, a bilateral exercise at Jodhpur, Rajasthan? And this country is France. Answer of this question is 4. And this exercise was conducted between 26th of October to 12th of November 2022. It is a 18-day long bilateral exercise known as Garuda 7 2022. And it was held between Indian Air Force and the French Air and the Space Force at the Air Force Station in the Jodhpur in Rajasthan. And it is the 7th edition of the Garuda exercise. It is the fourth time that exercise is hosted by India. First time India hosted this exercise in 2003, second time in 2006, third time in 2014 and fourth time and fourth time in 2022. So this is last question and uh, I think you like this video. Please like this video, share this video and subscribe our channel and please join our all platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Telegram channel and telegram channel link is given in the description box thank you again for watching this video and don't forget to like this video share this video and please subscribe our channel thank you guys take care and bye bye